Billingtons and welcome to CNNNN. We have just discovered footage from 1911, an interview with Captain Robert Scott the day before he left for his doomed expedition. Today we are here on the eve of Captain Scott's departure. We will be asking him some questions about his expedition. Captain Scott, what do you intend to achieve on your expedition? Well, tomorrow my crew and I will be setting out to be the first men to make it to the South Pole. I have already attempted this task in 1901 when I got within 400 miles of the South Pole and I decided to turn back because we were running low of supplies. We are better prepared this time around for devastatingly cold and harsh weather. There is much that can still go wrong and I feel with God's help we can make it to the South Pole and back. How large is your expedition? We are 20 men strong at our base in Antarctica. Tomorrow we will take 16 men, including myself, to plant supplies in advance of our return journey. I will take my four of my most strongest and most capable men with me to the South Pole. We've heard there is some competition to get to the South Pole. How do you assess your competition as a Norwegian explorer and Munson? I believe I stand pretty well compared to a Munson. We are taking 16 men to establish supply depots for our return. Eight men will turn back with the dogs, then four lucky crew members will come with me to the South Pole. We are making so many research breakthroughs that we intend to win this race for king and country. How long do you think it will take? We have been here for a little over a year already, researching and assessing. My final push to the South Pole with my crew of four, I believe it should take us four months. We are, will be prepared and moving as quickly as possible with minimal stops, covering about 15 miles per day. We should be well on track to make it to the South Pole. What equipment did you bring? To Antarctica, we bought dogs, Siberian podings and motorized sleds. We were surprised and disappointed that the motorized sleds broke down. Well, good luck for the start of your expedition tomorrow and Godspeed. Tally ho and God save the king. Unfortunately for Robert Scott, his mission was doomed from the start. He had seriously underestimated the effort required and didn't bring enough food for the journey. He only packed enough supplies for four men, but at the last moment decided to bring five men. He didn't bring the right medical supplies and was unable to treat the frostbite that beset him and his men. To add insult to injury, a Mudson, who had travelled with the same size crew, packed ten times the supplies he had thought he would need and was overall better prepared in every way. He arrived first at the South Pole five weeks before Scott. Scott and the remainder of his crew perished just 11 miles from his next supply depot.